OK, so when looking at this problem, I have 3 minus i divided by 2 plus 3i. The main important thing, guys, that we talked about is i, our imaginary number, is the same thing as like the square root of a negative number. And if you remember, when we were simplifying radical expressions, we had to multiply by the conjugate, um, Austin, to get the radical off the bottom. Well, the same thing. We can't have i. We can't divide by i because i is going to be our imaginary number. So when we want a simplified version, we want to get i off the denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the conjugate. And now remember, the conjugate for this is going to be 2 minus 3i. So when you have this binomial, the conjugate of this binomial is 2 minus 3i. But remember, we need to keep equivalent fractions. So I need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 minus 3i. Then what I'm going to do is now, hopefully you guys understand that this is a difference of two squares. Any binomial multiplied by its, um, by its conjugate is a difference of two squares. So therefore, I can quickly multiply this out. Remember, the difference of two squares, the middle terms cancel out. So really, all I need to do is multiply my first two terms, which is 2 squared, and then multiply these two terms, which is going to be um, a negative 3 squared i squared. All right. Now, the top is going to be a little bit different. Here, I'm probably going to have to apply FOIL on this one. Because to multiply this out, I just want to make sure I do my work correctly. So you could have done FOIL for the bottom. But if you guys remember, difference of two squares, the middle terms cancel out. But here, your middle terms don't cancel out. So you're going to want to apply FOIL. So 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times negative 3i is a negative 9i. 2 times negative i is a negative 2i. And negative i times negative 3i is a positive 3i squared. Now, the important thing to look at this when we're doing this, remember our imaginary numbers. We talked about this. i to the first power equals i. i squared equals, anyone? i squared? Anyone? Uh, negative 1. Negative 1. i cubed equals negative i. i to the fourth equals 1. I told you guys those first four terms are going to be very, very important for you to know. Because now we look at i squared, and guess what do we have? We have a negative 1, right? So therefore, this becomes 6 minus, uh, this would be 11i. Is there a problem, Chris? Um, plus 3 times negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. 6 minus 3 is just going to be 3 minus 11i. So that's our numerator. And then over here, so we have this now is 3 minus 11i. Now let's simplify our denominator. So we have 3 minus 11i over 2 squared is 4. Here, I'm going to have minus 9, or 3 squared, which is 9, times negative 1. Well, that becomes a positive, right? Negative 9 times negative 1 is a positive 9. So I have 4, 3 minus 11i over um, 4 plus 9, which equals 3 minus 11i over, what did I say? OK, so I did the numerator over here. So there's my, numer my work for my numerator. And then I just did the denominator. And then I just kind of rewrote it back all through there. All right. The main important thing, though, which you guys will get stuck on is remember to multiply by the conjugate. And then remember, i squared equals negative 1. Okay.